Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Rundown. We're going to go over the MLB playoff games for Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comment section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my $19 rundown best bet, you can find those at the premium picks tab at pickdogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Wednesday in the Divisional Series matchups. First up, it's the Houston Astros taking on the Minnesota Twins. This one, 2.07 Eastern. It's going to be on Fox Sports 1. Looks like GP France and Joe Ryan will be the projected starters for Game 4. You know, Ryan struggled against these Astros this season. He faced them twice in the regular season. Back on April 8th, four earned runs and a home run in six innings. Then against the Astros on May 30th, five earned runs and two home runs on the road in a 5-1 Astros win at Minute Maid Park. It's tough to go with Ryan here. He struggled on the road this season. The Astros' bats look really strong against right handed pitchers, and J.P. France was super strong on the road this year away from Minute Maid Park. Give me the Houston Astros on the money line to win the series. Next up, we see the Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. This one, 5.07 Eastern. It's going to be on TBS. Now, the series is now tied at one game apiece after the Phillies blew a 4-0 lead in Game 2. Looked like they were well on their way to taking a stranglehold 2-0 uh, series lead going back to Philadelphia. But they blew that lead. The Braves, a two-run home run from Austin Riley in the eighth inning to give them their first lead of the series and their first win of the postseason. And now it looks like it's going to be Aaron Nola for Philadelphia in Game 3. And then either Bryce Elder or A.J. smith Shaver, or maybe a, a combination of both in Game 3 for Atlanta. I don't really love those options. You know, neither guy, Elder or smith Shaver, has had any postseason experience. And both of these guys, not the best numbers in terms of the expected numbers. smith Shaver, a 5.71 XFIP, a 6.69 uh, FIP as well. And limited work, 25 and a third innings at the Major League level. Elder, we also talked about how he doesn't really miss a lot of bats. Sometimes the control could be an issue. We saw that more down the stretch of the regular season. Nola pitched against these Braves a few times in the regular season. 18 innings of work, a solid 3.5 ERA in three games with 20 strikeouts as well. Only four walks given up, so Nola was pretty sharp. He's got postseason experience. I think he's the better option in this game. It's tough to beat the Phillies at home in the postseason. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Phillies on the money line in Game 3. The final game for Wednesday's card of Major League Baseball, the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. This one, 907 Eastern, it's going to be on TBS, and Lance Lynn and Brandon Fott are the projected starters. Arizona is their first home game of the postseason in 2023. They're already 4-0 in the playoffs. They won the they swept the series in Milwaukee in the wild card series, took the first two games in LA against the Dodgers here. I have a chance to make it to the NLCS in this game. I'm going to lean towards the over in this one. You know, Lance Lynn and Brandon Fott, not my favorite starting pitching options, in the, especially in this matchup. As Lance Lynn, I would say, is a strikeout-dependent starting pitcher facing a team in Arizona that does a really good job of limiting strikeouts. Uh, Lance Lynn also, in the regular season, his last seven games, at least one home run given up, a lot of walks given up as well. The control wasn't the best, even though he was a much better member of the Dodgers as he, you know, compared to his numbers with the White Sox. I still think the Diamondbacks could be able to get the Lynn early. That's why we see a pretty steep total in this game. But also, Brandon Fott faced these Dodgers a couple times this season, did not pitch well in either of those games uh, on August 8th. He gave up four earned runs in four and two-thirds innings in a 5-4 Dodgers win. Then on August 30th, he gave up uh, six total runs. Five of those were earned, two home runs in four innings, and a 7 0 Dodgers win. And then we saw Fop pitch in the postseason already. Didn't fare well in his first career playoff spot as he went two and two thirds against the Brewers, seven base hits, and three earned runs with a home run. Luckily, his team was able to back him up offensively and come back and win that game. But Fott was not the sharpest. Give me the over here. These two, these two teams left a lot of men on base and left a lot of opportunities on the table in Game 2. We saw them combine for 4 for 16 with runners in scoring position. Give me the over. Then we see a much better offensive performance from both teams. And that's it. Those are the Divisional Series games for Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.